Yo, what is up guys, it's Justin Bliss here and welcome to my flat. Now we are here in search of the absolute best burger in Namibia. So today we have a new contender, aka Mr. Wimpy, or just Wimpy. Um, so if you're not from Southern Africa, um, you probably won't know Wimpy. But a basic rundown is Wimpy is sort of like your budget um, like cafe takeout, you know. Um, it's very popular for like road trips, so it's basically almost in every town and any like fuel station you can find a Wimpy. Um, so usually that's where you uh, just the like, level of food that you can expect from a, from a Wimpy restaurant. So we want to see how their burgers stack up against the rest of Namibia's burgers. So that's why we've done Rocco Mamas which was a f total score of 54, if uh, I remember correctly. Um, so let's see how Wimpy does. Um, so we ordered two. We ordered two burgers. Two we're going to share kinds. them. Or we're gonna, what is this? That is, I believe, the sauces. This is a little bag. That's quite nifty. Nifty. That's quite nifty. Right yes. off the bat, the chips are not spiced, I don't think. No, they're not. No. Yeah. And I like that. And I open one of these up. Yep. So you have your tomato sauce. Right, so. Here's vinegar and tomato sauce. Tom tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. And vinegar. And then your salt. And your secret spice and pepper. So what okay. do you want on your chips? I don't want anything on my chips. I just think I'm just going to eat my chips like that. I want some spice on mine. Um, Which one is that? So my burger, or the burger I took, was the chicken, cheese and bacon. The Holy Trinity. Um, so that was on this burger. We'll dive into the burgers in a few seconds, but what do you have there? The crispy stack. The crispy stack with crispy onion meat. Can I put some spice on that? Yeah, you can go, ahead, go for it. Go so, ahead! What we were thinking was to do this series sort of like a Mac Bung style. Um, so it's going to be longer videos, but as far as I could tell, you guys don't mind that at all. Uh, hmm. The last video was actually one of the most viewed videos for that month. Can I shake it? Yeah, go ahead. Anyways, um, so we're gonna do that. Let us know what you think of that. Do you want the MacBong style? Um, it's sort of weird. We're just gonna sort of do a long form video. Not much editing, just us chatting to to one another with you guys. We try, we're gonna try and have um, a guest speaker. <laughs> On most of these, did you just mess your vinegar? <laughs> um, we're gonna try and have a guest speaker on most of these. Um, today that wasn't possible because we were at the coast. We were in Swakop. Oh wow. So yeah, as I said, we couldn't really get anyone to join us this time or organize for us to be at Wimpy itself because um, we were on holiday. We were at the coast. Um, so maybe we can chat about that in a few seconds. But for now, so let me just get up our our little um, criteria. Criteria. So again, we're gonna judge these burgers based on presentation, bun, patty, toppings, fries, preparation, um, and price. Okay. Do you remember how much we paid? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so um, right off the bat, presentation. Mm. This one looks better than that one. It's takeaway, so True. can't really expect much. I would give it a. Feeling my bun. This is how my burger looks. Yeah, this is how my looks. So I would give this. What's our thing? Out of ten, maybe a five, five four. 
Like I get it's takeout and it's like you can't really do much but That's why I'm saying five. Like at least not in a white baggy. You know. Um but they did do this. I don't know whatever that is. <laughs> That's like all the spices and stuff in the serviette. So maybe it is a five. Let's do five, okay? Um, Can I shake this again? Yeah. Okay. So, let me just have a taste here. A taste? A taste, yeah. Look, we're cutting it in half. Let's just have a taste of one of this. Or what? Do you not? Do you want to cut it in half? No, it's fine. How are you going to cut it in half in this thing? It's fine. That's what I said. You take a taste of yours first. Okay. You take a taste of yours. Yeah. It's not bad. But it's not amazing either. Mm. Um, how would you rate the bun? Not fresh. No, obviously. Um, it's okay. Nah. In comparison to Rocco Mama's buns. The Rocco Mama's we gave 10 out of 10 for presentation because they had like the whole wooden board. And it was very well presented. For the bun we gave it a 7. This one. Think of all the hamburger buns you've had. And 5. I'll give this a three. This is basically just like you should buy it in a shop. There's nothing special about it. I don't think it's even charred at the bottom. I don't know what it is. Is it? Yeah, it is. What is it? Oh. I don't know. Not very well. It's not. It's just. It's just. It's just. It's just. Okay, so that. Okay. That's a four. I'd make mine a four. Right. How much did I give mine? Three. Three. Okay. Um, so then we get to patty. Can I be bluntly honest with you right now? Yes. My patty is very dry. Even with all Have the. Have a taste of mine and then the switch, switch rooney. Mine is not that dry, but it's chicken, so. Mm -hmm. My bread is also very small. Like your patty. Mm. 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 We're not talking about preparation here. We're just talking about. No. Like, it's okay. It's not like it's. I think it's overcooked. No, that's pre that's preparation. Uh -uh. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Hmm. Like we're talking about how it tastes, how the patty. I don't know, mind it. I don't. Let me have another one. Okay, it changed. Just the patty itself is actually nice. Okay. I like it. So I'm going to give it out of 10. Oh my god, chill <laughs> Um. The Rocco Mama's patty we gave it 9 out of 10. 7. Mm. Six. Like it's not the best patty but it's got nice taste. It's not like bland. Right. You understand? Hell it rhymes. Mine is just like a chicken paste. Doesn't really taste like anything. So what would you give yours? A two. Like I can make better chicken breasts here. Yeah. Okay. That's that's mine. Okay, so that's for me. are we gonna agree on a on a thing? No, we don't have to. We just uh, okay. have to have it. Um toppings. 
Okay, so mine is supposed to be crispy bacon. Crispy onions. My onions are not crispy. They're like just onions. It looked so much more crispier. That's the idea. That it's I always know. crispy on the picture. No. The bacon's nice. So I want to leave it out of 10, the toppings. Three. I agree with you because mine is basically like bacon cheese, like even just fake cheese, like those little slices, little. processed cheese. And it's normal mayo. And lots of mayo. Mine's got like a little bit of a chili. Yeah, but you were said chili. Okay, so three for both of us, okay. Then we get to fries. How would you rate your fries? As a normal fry, well, I just put spice, spices on mine now. Mm. They're not bad, they're soft and twiggly. And basically you're just mm, basic fry. fries. Mm. What do you say? I say, I think the fact that it's not spiced, like at all. Yeah, before I we get it, it brings it down a lot. Because if you think KFC fries, spiced, spiced. steers, spiced, spiced. What are the other now we're just like? talking about other takeaway places, not even like restaurants. For a restaurant, it's a given. Like right? Rocco Mama's, if you get takeaway from there. Oh, it's going to be spiced. I would give this a two. Because I'm going to taste like old. It doesn't even taste like yeah. fresh. It tastes like old. Two. Yeah. Are we agreeing? Two. It's not like we're doing this on purpose. It's just... We need to know. We need to know. You need to know. Preparation. For the patty specifically. Like, how is your patty? Is it overcooked? Is it undercooked? Mine's overcooked. Mm-hmm. They're very spicy. They're not spicy. My chicken is... Pretty much. Yeah. Mine is over. In terms of preparation. And it's very thin. No, no, that's not preparation. I'm just talking about how it is cooked. Like, okay, so mine is overcooked. Overcooked. Like very dry. My chicken is also quite dry. Um, but not really overcooked or undercooked. I think it's just dry in general. Yeah. Um, I would say a five for me. I'm gonna go low. How much? Three or two. Three or two, which one is it now? Three. Three. Okay. There we go, there you have it folks. And then finally, we have the price point. Okay, so how much was this one? I think this one was 89 something, wasn't it? Yeah, this one was basically the price of a Rocco Mama's burger. This one was like way cheaper, like 20 bucks cheaper. For mine, for my price, I don't think it's worth it. Mine like, might. you can get so much better. Or they can do so much better, I think. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. For like the price wise. Like, you can actually have proper onion rings. Spat on me. Sorry. Mm. Like, proper onion ring. Ah! <laughs> Proper onion rings. Uh, onion rings and like the at least the patty be a little bit like thicker. And if Rocco Mama's can get away with the same price of burger and have it be so much better, then certainly we're picking as well. It's not a thing of like saving costs for the sake of 
keeping the price low. Like we know if a that you are able to get better quality for, for the same amount. amount of money. Exactly. So for us, for that one, I really like no, it. I like know. that's just not. But for this one, this is it's like agreeable. twenty but twenty bucks cheaper. How much is that then? Sixty. It was like sixty something. And it's like not that bad. This like for sixty bucks, uh, this is pretty much the book I would be expecting. So for me, they get like a nine, let's say eight out of ten in terms of price and affordability. Mine, a four. A four. Mm. Okay. 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 But I don't. I'm. I don't like mine. You mine. Please. That's what sweet boyfriends do, guys. Sit. I've eaten a lot of mine though. It's fine. I'm sorry. It's okay. Blaken. Else. Look at that blaken. <gasps> Look at all those chickens. So how was smoke for you? Are you eating? My chicken is falling out. That was good. We drove there on Monday. Um, came back on Thursday. So, we were there like for four, three and a half days. Mm -hmm. um, the weather was amazing. Weather was amazing. Here, and on the last day, the sun started coming out mm -hmm. and whatever. In winter, like I think at 10 in the morning, it's like 30, 35 degrees mm -hmm. Celsius. When I was there, I was looking at how hot it was. Yeah. And eight here, 25. It's really hot here. And there was like, 60. the max was 23. Hot and that, that was like only at like two o'clock. In the afternoon. That was like yeah. one to two, like the hot, hottest hours of the day. Um, so we stayed with Kevin and them. Hey. Like you might remember them from the last. I think those were like the first ever vlogs we did. It was. Especially the one where we adopted the kids. Yeah, our fake adoption. That was like so quick, mm -hmm. Um Stay with them. That was really cool. We had lots of deep combos. Um, it was just nice people to be with. It was nice company. Because mm. they're already a lot in the house. Well, the Abraham's house. So when we were there, it was like so chill. Like, mm. we just felt like part of the family. And they've got a very cute kids. And a very cute dog. And a very cute cat called Gandalf. That was cool. And then... Um, Monday we didn't do much, we just went to the mall, we did our thing. Uh, went to the went to the beach, not to really the beach, more like the the mall thing man. Mm. We saw the ocean, okay. And the strand. Yeah. We um, were looking for date places for Wednesday. Yeah, so Wednesday we had a date night. Um It was super nice. But that was Wednesday. Oh. Monday. Oh. Monday, we uh, yeah, basically did our thing. Um, eight was given, and then Tuesday we woke up like early, quite early, right? Like at nine. Um, eight. That's not early. Okay, it's early. Um, we slept late then. Um, where did we go? Oh yeah, we had like lunch at like the thing. I think the village cafe. No, we had breakfast. Breakfast day. Monday we went to the Village Cafe. Oh yeah, that's true. So Monday we went to Village Cafe. It is such a cool vibe. No, like, first we wanted to go to the Browse. Yeah. Then they, they said they that they were closed. And we were like, but there's people here. There's like all these people eating. Like, then we were like, no, but we're really thirsty. So then we went to a Village Cafe. And it's so cool. It's like when you walk in. Oh, and it was over the days of St. Patty. So everything was some some things were green and 
had flags and stuff hanging up. Mm. So it had like a cool, chill feeling. The people are very nice there. Right? Mm -hmm. He had a waffle. Yes. And then I was saving my money for an ice cream. Nice ice cream, ice and ice. From ice and spice. Nice ice. Something like that. Anyways. Why are you eating my chips? Oh, mine's, mine's finished. You can actually have them. Yeah. Look. It's so kind of nice. See, not all the spice. Um, it's still some. Then, Tuesday, we woke up and we went for breakfast. Oh yes. At a very nice, like on on the beach almost. There's like literally on, on the, the beach. Farmhouse deli. Yeah. Farmhouse deli. And we had German eggs Benedict. Yeah. No, Am I saying it right? Amazing. And there were like little birds and stuff also flying around. Not that expensive either. No. I think it was fairly priced. Um, we did that. We walked around a bit, doesn't we? Mm-hmm. Um, I went to the mall mm -hmm. for my eye. Yeah, you were something with your eye. Um, went home. Yeah, chilled there for the rest of the day, basically. Yeah. Um, Played around then, with the kids. And then Wednesday. Wednesday. I got a tattoo. So let me tell you the story. So, I want, I've always wanted a tattoo. Even like when I was in school, but I didn't get one then, <clears throat> which I'm actually quite happy. And so uh, the tattoo means to the moon and back. Which no, 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 no. You read it this way. I think so. No, you do. That looks like a capital letter. It does, hey? So you read it this way, and it means to the moon and back. So I'm sure all of you guys have this in your family, but this is very, like, it's a very special thing in our family, especially with my grandparents that have passed away. My my dad so we always used to say it um so i really just wanted to get something sentimental but i was only supposed to get it in like two months time yeah so we were walking around i said to chris no we have to try and find a place that's open i just want to see how much it is so we went to one and it was closed and then i was like on the internet i was like i need to find one and then we we're actually so near to the one that i actually did it at and we went inside very the front looks very cool mm -hmm. and she started it wasn't that bad poor chris's hand i was like squeezing it right yeah but it wasn't that bad and now i want to get more <laughs> basically and now chris also wants one yeah we had a poll on, on, on instagram. instagram you guys have spoken i think the last thing was like 54 to 54% voted that I should get a tattoo. So I'm, I'm checking which one I should get. Um, but okay, that's our swag up story. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, that That's basically the video, guys. I Wimpy is basically like a budget... Place. Not really a budget restaurant. It's more like a very... Common restaurant like a McDonald's or like a KFC Especially or whatever. Kids, right? So it's quite common here in Southern Africa. Um, don't expect like the best quality, but it's quite good. Like generally, it's quite good for like the price, affordability, you know. Um, so you should be able to see the results on the screen right now. How it stacks up against Rocco Mamas, who we've done, we did like a few weeks ago. Uh, let us know. What we should do next, uh, I heard someone say, I think the roadhouse. Yes, it's the roadhouse. Yeah, yeah, there. it's then um, close to the pool. Oh, okay. The so, steakhouse, isn't it? No, I think it's roadhouse. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'll just, I'll just double check. Anyways, we got that as, as a suggestion. Let us know if you can think of any other place that we should go and try out. Um, we wanted to go and swap up and try some of those places, but maybe we should just leave that till a later date. Yeah. Finish everything in Vintuk and then go do some, some episodes there. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the like, click the like button. Um, comment down below again who you want us to go to next. And we'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. Just now. Peace.